Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I want to do a favourites video, but I kind of want to do it in a different format. So this time around, I'm actually going to put my favourites on my face whilst I'm talking about them. Please let me know if you prefer this format or me just sitting down and going through all the products. I just want to switch things up a bit. So let me know on that. I have got a bunch of favourites I've found throughout the month off camera, on camera. This is going to be predominantly makeup in here. I have got a few skincare bits, not too much, but mostly makeup. So if that's your kind of thing, then carry on watching, hit subscribe, join my Patreon if you like, I'll leave it down below. And yeah, without further ado, let's go. If you hear the hoover, that is Dan downstairs hoovering and I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm gonna start off with lip care. This has been my favorite at the minute. This is the Jeffree Star Banana Fetish Lip Mask. Yeah, this smells incredible. I've mentioned it in previous favorites before. And yeah, the texture is yummy. It's thick, but not too thick that you can't wear it throughout the day. Sometimes I like to pop this on if I'm not wearing any lip products throughout the day and it just keeps your lips so moisturized feeling hydrated and gives a nice glow to the lips too. Yeah, this has been going down a treat. Next up, some more skincare. This is the iHeart Revolution Watermelon Dewy Drops. I like to use this as a serum sometimes. Sometimes I like to use it as a makeup primer, but for today I'm gonna to use it as a serum. It's fast drying. It just goes into skin really nice. It is a very fluid texture. Um, it just feels so nice and when you wake up in the morning and you just put something cold on your face. Uh, it gives a nice dewiness like it says on the bottle to your skin. But I wouldn't say it's over the top dewy like it looks like you're <laughs> sweating. It's a nice little dewiness. And with the remaining I just like to rub it into my hands. But yeah, this feels really good and I've been enjoying this throughout the month. It's also got hyaluronic acid in it as well and niacinamide, I think, which is also really good skin ingredients. Once that's soaked in, I then go in my moisturizer. This is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydration SPF 25. I love this. I am using another moisturizer at the minute, but this is my go-to. <laughs> as you can tell, I've nearly used it all up. It smells really fresh, and it's a great moisturizer to use for daytime. It's very light, it's not thick, it doesn't pill under foundation it works great under foundation i also put an spf over this because i feel like the protection of spf is not enough for me um i like to go 50 <laughs> just in case you know but this this feels so good so once that's soaked in for about 10 minutes i will go in an spf but i'm gonna do my brows first because i want to wait till my skin is prepped so for my brows i've been loving this time and time again i keep going back to it this is the pink honey glue original super hold it's just a basically soap in a cute jar that's how much i've used already basically when you buy it the the hole is a lot smaller <laughs> yeah i like to wet my brush first and this is also my favorites this is a very oldie but a goodie this is the primark priming infuse instant hydration priming spray i don't know if they still do this in primark but this is so good to have it on hand i always keep it on my desk because when it comes to things like this activating soap brows, activating wet liners, activating shimmers in a palette that you want the extra amp. I always go for this or any other spray, but it's always seemed to be this because I want to use it all up. So I just spray a lot on my brush. You just swirl it around in the brow product and you just work in quickly into your brows. I say quickly because it can leave residue in your brows if you're not quick enough. But can you tell the difference? It makes me look like I've got a brow and I don't have brows, they're very thin and sparse, but having a soap brow just makes me look like I've got a bit, bit of a brow going on. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into my SPF. This is literally nearly all gone. I have got a backup in my drawer. This is the Carbon Theory Daylight SPF 50 Plus. It did take a couple of times for me to get used to this product, but it's the product that works for my skin best. Fill my fingertip. With products this is very fluid so you have to be quick with this and then just go just dot around my face really and usually i let this set for like half an hour 20 minutes actually but in that time i can just do my eyeshadow so and what i like about this it doesn't interfere with my foundation that is all i want 
it leaves the tiniest, tiniest cast, but not compared to others that I've tried. So yeah, I am gonna put a primer over this. So I don't know how that's gonna go, cause that's in my favorites. So we'll just have to see. Um, I've wore this to festivals. I've wore this to events that are usually in the daytime and it's made my makeup not interfere or anything. You should really top it up over an hour, it says though. I don't like to top my SPF if I've got foundation on, unfortunately. I do have the super goop powder, but I'm not really feeling this. That's an SPF powder, by the way. Um, I don't know, it just, I just feel like it doesn't give me enough protection. Okay, so a palette that I've been loving recently. It is a recent purchase in September, but I have been using it most of the time since I've got it. This is the Urban Decay Naked Palette with Robin Eisenberg. I don't shut up about this palette. My boyfriend keeps telling me, why are you so obsessed with that palette? I don't know. When I look at this, I'm just like, hmm. It makes me feel happy. I've done three looks, one palette video with this palette. So there's actually a quite a few variations how to wear this palette, surprisingly enough. Uh, my favorite all time shade out of this palette is Home Planet. This periwinkle matte is beautiful. It's in the top periwinkle mattes I've got in my collection. And yeah, I have a pigmented impact pastel. It needs to be good. And this is a good one. So that's my favorite. I'm gonna use this color today and yeah. I have a few sh shades in here that are a bit meh. Like the shimmers in here are not impactful. Like don't expect it to be a beautiful Beauty Bay foily shimmer. These aren't like that. If you really want it to be a bit more painted, wet the brush. But I've done a full view review on this. Uh, I love the warm tones in this too. So I'm gonna go in the Home Planet shade. I don't wanna talk too much about it. I've got a video on it. So most of the products I've used in this video or will be on YouTube hopefully. So I like to use this palette best with other palettes and I'm gonna show you a little surprise of what I'm gonna use it with today. I'm gonna to start with Home Planet. So Home Planet, we're gonna put Home Planet on the outer portion of the lid. Like look at that already, it just, just packs on a punch, a pastel shade. Yeah, I'm excited to show you the next palette. It's not new, it's a throwback palette. What I'm gonna use of this palette and I'm happy to whip it out of my collection again. Can you guess where it is before I move on to it? It is an iHeart Revolution palette. It is a throwback palette. Well, yeah, look at that already. How nice is this shade? It's beautiful. And I'm also gonna mix that a bit with, I like to go in my brush if I don't want too much pigment. It's the Ice Creator shade. This can totally to um, change the hue of the Home Planet shade. It can make it more gray, gray looking. Okay, the next palette is gonna be I Heart Revolution Unicorn Heart. Even though it's not in my favorites, I had to use the Naked palette with something and I've chosen this. But I just wanna play with this again. So this is I Heart Revolution Unicorn Heart, a very old throwback palette. It's so cute and yeah, I just wanna play with it again. I'm gonna use the pink today. So let's go with that. Like, how cute is that with this palette? Now this palette would be great with the Naked palette. Like already, I've done a look. So I'm also gonna go with another shade in this palette. I'm gonna take this shade and I'm just gonna put it in the middle a bit. Just add a bit of purpleness. For the inner corner, I'm gonna take this shade here. The reason why I like about the shade, it reflects into a pink sparkle. I don't know if that's gonna show on camera. Hopefully you can see that. Again, using that spray and I'm gonna put this in the inner corner. So another product that I've been using a lot in my videos is the Revolution Clueless Eyeliner. I've been liking this a lot. I've been using it mostly every time that I want to do an eyeliner. I just like its position. I like how black it is. So a primer that I've been enjoying a lot, this has been in my favorites time and time again. This is the I Heart Revolution Unicorn Heart Glow Serum. Um, I'm nearly running out. Unfortunately, you can't get this now separately unless you get the Unicorn Heart Glow gift set on Revolution. That's how much I've used up already. And you can see the purple reflex in there. It's just so adorable. And I like this because it gives a nice glow to your skin. 
really dirty. I need to clean this. Ew. <laughs> Hopefully this doesn't interfere with the SPF. Oh well. I'm not gonna be out too long. So this is like a contour hybrid with a bronzer, I'd say, with a tone with my skin. This is the She Glam Sun Sculpt Liquid Contour in the shade Golden Sun. This is my favorite liquid contour bronzer at the minute. Um, I prefer this over my Made by Mitchell Shady Business. Uh, it just blends so well. So this is what the applicator comes like. It comes with a sponge dough for. I literally just apply, let me take my hair away. I literally apply one dot one dot on both sides and then I just blend it in with a dense packing brush. Look how that blends so well. I have no issues with this, it just, it just blends. And I need something that blends quick because I keep saying I have no patience. Um, I just love this. That's what the shade looks like. I'd say it's quite neutral. Not too warm, not too cool. It just looks smooth onto the skin as well. So for my blush, I've got two favourites at the minute and this is the Made by Mitchell blush in the shade Cold Heart. And I've got the I Heart Revolution Blushing Hearts Candy Queen of Hearts. And I like to use this as a blush topper, so on top of a liquid blush or something or cream blush. Look how adorable this is. So I'm gonna go in the Made by Mitchell first. So this is from his Lonely Heart Club collection. And this is in the shade Cold Heart, which is a pink, which is more on the cool side, hence the name. I love it. So I take a bit on the back of my hand and then I first go in with my finger and just go in that way. And I work it one cheek at a time because this is very quick drying. And I do prefer to use a sponge with his products because I like to have a flushed look. Like that, look how nice that is. Sometimes I go in with his MF1 brush and just like product place it and then I go in my sponge. So, and then I just disperse it with the sponge. And then this way I can tell how much I want. Just helps me out a bit whilst I'm getting used to his formula because I'm not really used to it. It's quite different to the products that I have in my collection, which is why I like it again, because it is quite unique. Um, but yeah, look how cute that is. I love that. So a highlighter that I keep dipping into, especially this month, is the I Heart Revolution Looney Tunes Lola Highlighter. There's a shade called Sweetie Pie and Sassy in here that I love to use at the same time. So these two here. So I just like to get my brush, take as much as I can and just apply on that way. And I love using this highlighter specifically with pinky looks or looks on the cooler side i'd say yeah just love how that looks and then going back to this we're gonna do a blush topper i don't put a lot on here but i just like to use it so yeah i just swirl all the shades and this just adds a bit of a glow to them I'm all blushed off and I'm loving it. Okay, now onto lips. I have two favourites here, so I need to decide which one to have. I've got the Maybelline Vinyl Ink Lipstick. This is their Superstay Vinyl Inks. And I've got a shade Peachy. Love this. It's such a gorgeous formula. It's probably one of the best formulas I've got in my lip, lip collection. I don't know. It's up there anyway. Um, that is Peachy. Love the shade. And I've got the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Feeling So Innocent. I think I might go in this. I really like this. Again, this formula is up there. It doesn't have a smell, this one. I think this one might go with the look better. But yeah, this lipstick is stunning. And what I like about this, it does not budge. I'm just gonna line my lips first. This is a Essence Lip Liner shade Curious. I don't know why, I just like to line my lips first. You probably don't even need to, but and then Jeffrey. I think I might wear some lashes. Do I wear lashes today? I think I should, it's the weekend, so. I'm gonna hop off camera, put some lashes on. So, pretty much done now. I did go with my Meggy lashes, these in the style Tulip. So, they're the lashes. And I also added just the tiny bit of concealer in the middle of the lip. I just wanted a bit of an ombre going on. Um, just a bit lighter in the lip, so that's what I've done. Just gonna spray my Vanilla Dream whilst I'm here. God, do you remember those Get Ready Me's where it was the full thing? Hair, makeup, perfume, outfit. 
That was such a classic. I literally feel like some kind of fairy tale with this makeup look. It's very, it is very fairy tale like. I really like it. So yeah, here are my favourites at the minute on my face. Do let me know, have I mentioned any of your favourites or have I mentioned anything you really want to try? Or is there anything that I've mentioned that you particularly didn't work with? Because I always like to know what different things would work with different people. It's just interesting. If you did like this video, do give me a big thumbs up, which helps my channel out. And if you don't wanna miss out on my future uploads or favorites video like this, I do have a playlist. Hit subscribe so you don't miss out. And yeah, join my Patreon if you like. I'll leave that in the description box. But yeah, I hope you have a lovely day. Now it's time watching this and I shall see you in the next one. Bye.